It's been uh, Thursday. It is now time for special interest matters. The Honourable Member for Rose Views. Thanks, Madam President. Today uh, I want to talk about the oldest and richest short distance running race in Australia, Madam President. And on Easter Monday, it was won by one of my constituents. The stall gift was won, of course, by Andrew Robinson, who will be aged 21 in December, and uh, whom I've known almost since he was a toddler, rather than a, a lightning fast sprinter. I'll come to that, I'll come to that. This, this is about reflected glory. <laughs> <laughs> and your time's ticking Andrew, away. Andrew started at the age of five with the Launceston Little Athletics Club, an organisation close to my heart and to the family for many, many years. As an under-13 athlete, he was awarded the Kerry Finch Encouragement Award. And also he won the Little Athletics Male Sportsperson Award. Then subsequently, Andrew was also runner-up in the State Male Sportsperson of the Year Award. He's done remarkably well with that magazine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it was obvious by then, Madam President, that Andrew did have an extraordinary talent, uh, as his parents, Cindy and Steve Robinson, certainly recognised. As an under-15 athlete, Andrew was Tasmanian Little Athletics 100 metre and 200 metre champion. At Year 12 at Launceston Scotch Oakburn College, Andrew was captain of the school athletics team and then went on to become the state independent schools 100 and 200 metres champion, uh, which is a great, a very, a very Im impressive feat at, at that age. And he certainly impressed college teachers with his communications and leadership skills and also his encouragement to other school athletes and that was regardless of where they finished in their events or the, the, their own capabilities. For the past three seasons, he has been the Tasmanian Athletic League Male Sprinter of the Season, and last year he was named Australian Athletics Confederation Male Sprinter of the Year. Apart from last month's stall gift, recent victories have included La Trobe, Keylor, and the Devonport gifts. But of course, the stall gift is his greatest achievement. And he in fact dedicated that victory to his coach, Ray Quarrell, and, uh, who lost his home uh, in the January Southern Tasmanian bushfires. And I think uh, everybody's heart, particularly in the athletics world, went out to Ray and his family because he lost all of his memorabilia and his trophies. Just a shocking thing to occur. But what a great, uh, great moment this has been for Ray to have in fact coached this young man to this uh, victory. Uh, is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, well, we all, we've all got a link to this then. We have. But uh, until Andrew Robinson, the last Tasmanian to win the score gift was Ken Hutton in 1941. And I might just say, he was also from my electorate of Rosevears. Uh, he was from Beaconsfield. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, but a, a tragedy uh, fell on Ken Hutton. He was 20, same age as uh, Andrew when he won, but he later died in a bomber over Europe. The stall gift, Madam President, began in 1878 as a foot race between miners in the Victorian uh, gold mining town. It was initially over 131 yards, which became 120 metres with decimalisation. Uh, it's 120 metres up a slight gradient, so it's hard to compare times with the 120 metre sprints elsewhere. But being a handicap race, tactics beforehand are very important. Contestants want to go fast enough in the heats to qualify, but try to hold back a little to get that good handicap. And, of course, a good price too. Uh, at, the, uh, at one stage, I believe that Andrew was 80 to 1 to win the event. So he picked up a good price. And, and the first prize, of course, is $40,000. So it's, it's obvious from an early age, Madam President, that. Uh, that Andrew developed an ambition to be a top sprinter and I hope that his winning the Kerry Finch Encouragement Award when he was 12 <laughs> had plenty to do with his ambition uh, but his success certainly can be uh, partially attributed to the competition framework that we have in Tasmania that has been available to him especially the Launceston Little Athletics and uh, I'm sure that this win will be a tremendous fillip 
to Tasmanian athletics. And at the age of 20, he has hopefully a long and fast career ahead of him, and I wish him well.